Welcome to Untold Reacts, the channel where I let untold stories be told to me. Today, we jump back in to this crazy story that doesn't stop getting crazier. Thank you to my patrons as usual, but let's get in to episode 14 of season 4. Here goes. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> it's the same exact scene I already watched, but my chills are back. God damn it. I always realize that's them blowing the gas right there. Damn. I love the intros that kind of click more as you go. Not the ones that just show you what's going to happen, <laughs> but the ones that just kind of like allude to like tiny things. And then once you have a piece of information, it all makes sense to you. That shit's cool. I'm never ready for this show, man. I, I always feel like I'm nervous and not prepared, but it's because the emotional weight this show has. <laughs> Every time. Ugh. I don't like that title. <laughs> I really don't like that title right now. エルディアの問題を解決するのに争いは無用だ。どうして単独でマーレ襲撃に至る選択をしたのか。俺は自由だ。俺が何をしようと何を選ぼうと、それは俺の自由意志が選択したものだ。え、あなたはあやつら。
ジークの脊髄液やワインにいつから仕込まれて嫌だったはい動きが普通じゃねえこれもジークの仕業かあおしゃつあバリスまだそこにいるお前らだお互いを信じることができなかった全世界の勢力がもうじきこの島に集結してしまうはどういうことか分かっていない自分たちには力がある時間がある選択肢があるリヴァイあんたの過ちだ俺の真意を話したところで分かりっこないだろうがな俺たちにしか分からないよなこの森を抜ければすぐお前のもとだああ、ポーリヴァイ Poor fucking guy, dude. This is rough. My God. ああ。巨人襲撃時の志願しなく防衛訓練を行うもう巨人なんて襲ってこねえだろう。敵は壁外の人間なんだぞエルディアに希望があるとしたらイエーガー派が国の実権を握ることだみんなそう思っているだろうみんなエレン・イエーガーにエルディアを導いてもらいたいは非常な決断も下せるようなのハンジイエーガー派とか言われている我々が銃口でも向けない限り貴様らのような小便小僧など誰も相手にしないと考えているのなら<笑>頭の硬さしか取り柄のない老人なんて不要なんですよこれからは訓練兵諸君我々イエーガー派は現在滅亡の危機にあるエルディアを救うために心臓を捧げると誓ったそれともここにいるキース・シャーディスと共に古い慣習と心中するものかエルディアの未来のために心臓を捧げますディス教官を足腰立たなくなるまで痛めつけろこれこそが我々が到達すべき悪臭そのものだ This is so fucking twisted, dude! This is so fucked up! ひよっこどもが何人かかってきたところで相手にならん<笑>よくやった。君たち全員を歓迎しよう。はい。You don't get yourself killed, Hanji. It's not fucking worth it. <sighs> Fuck you. Mega が覚めたか。愛想の新刊をつなぐワイヤーをお前の首にくくってある。もうなんかしねえが。お前は俺の部下の命を踏みにじった。うるせえな。こうやって切っておかねえと。てめえが巨人に。俺の目がね。知るかよ。もうお前に目がないなんて必要ねえよ。Why would he care about those? Fuck this show. <sighs> I don't want to discuss this. I. Oh my god. Eren has always been reserved around Armin and Mikasa, but their bond was always an assumption. Based on how much Mikasa cared and Armin cared, I don't think Eren ever gave a shit.
This is so fucked up, man. Aaron literally fucking told her that he hated her. And then beat the fuck out of Armin when he used to literally defend Armin's life. I'm not kidding. I feel like I'm going to be sick. Like, that's how fucking deep this episode cut me. Oh my god. It's not even Flock's fault, but I hope that motherfucker just dies in the most slow, gruesome, fucking horrendous way physically fucking possible in this universe. They are so fucking twisted, and they're just becoming what they're trying to fight, and they don't care. Like it's it's not they don't it's not that they don't see it. They they fucking know. They just don't give a fucking rat's ass, and it's disgusting to watch. I can't believe it, dude. It's a great story. I, I want to clarify. I'm just really fucking torn up right now. This is not okay. <laughs> I'm gonna look back on this in like a year and just think this is the greatest story ever told, but right now I'm just fucking pissed. <laughs> I'm so upset. <sighs> All of it makes sense. I think that's what hurts the most though. You can think back to season one and make sense of it. <sighs> and how long was Grisha, if not, if he's not still doing so, how long did Grisha control Aaron then obviously it's it's subconscious control but what he's saying would imply that fucking Galliard Grisha the Fritz daughter the Warhammer Titan are all in his head askewing his thoughts but because he's aware of that does that make that not effective to him I don't I don't care what happens to Aaron that's insane to me I don't care I want him dead I was smiling watching Zeke get cut the fuck up. <laughs> that fight was great. I love how he fucking ran from Levi. <laughs> that was great, but it was undercut by the fact that I... I'm in so much pain. Every benefit of the doubt I've given Aaron makes me want to fucking puke now. I am disgusted at myself. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> I do want to clarify, it's a good-ass story, it's so innovative and so realistic, and that's why it fucking hurts, man. So... Oh. I think at the end there, that was like, a mental image he was getting. Like, the baseball metaphorically being like his death, and he's saying like, I can't, I have a mission. I think at least that's how I took it, like similar to when Reiner was dying and then heard Gabby. I'm guessing at least, I, I don't know but that was an odd place to end it after that fucking episode. <sighs> this makes so much sense, though. Like, why Zeke hasn't actually given a shit, and Aaron's just like him now, if, if not fucking worse. I'm gonna call it here, guys. I am burnt the fuck out. I'm hurt. I'm depressed. I'm angry. And I don't want to watch the show, but I'm gonna. <laughs> I really do feel like I have to clarify, but I, I don't mean that I don't want to watch the show in the sense that it's bad and I don't like the writers for what they wrote. Their, their writing is ingenious. Like, they, they are actually fucking geniuses. It's just, I've never been so hurt by a story. Never. Hell, I've never been betrayed by the main fucking character of a show I've watched, so... <sighs> Four seasons of giving him the benefit of the doubt. I'll see you guys next week. I'm gonna go be sick. Have a nice night.